Take a look at any planet in our solar system and you will notice that they all have something in common. They are all a round shape. Whether their composition is made up of gas or rock, their shape is still round. This isn't unique to our solar system either. Of the 4,000 exoplanets we have discovered, they all have one thing in common. Their shape is round. So what is going on? Why are planets round? The definition of a planet, as by the International Astronomical Union, states that a planet is a celestial body that is in orbit around the sun, has sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes a hydrostatic equilibrium shape and has cleared the neighbourhood around its orbit. This means that, by definition, planets are round, but we don't see massive triangles, rectangles or other shaped objects floating out in space. Even the moons of planets tend to be round too, with smaller objects such as asteroids typically odd and imperfect shapes. So surely something is going on, right? Well, it's due to gravity. The bigger the object, the bigger its gravitational field is, and planets are massive. The gravitational force of a planet's mass turns a planet round through pulling all of its material towards the centre, which over time smooths out the planet, making it more and more round. This is happening evenly in all directions, hence the round shape. Smaller objects such as asteroids are odd shapes due to their gravitational force not being strong enough to smooth out the shape of their body. The nebula hypothesis, or more widely known as the star and planet formation model, also plays a part. When the solar system was forming, pockets of dust and gas started to collect together. As these collected, they pulled in more and more matter due to the growing gravitational pull of these collections, and their pressure increased, causing them to heat up. Typically if an object has a diameter which exceeds 1000 kilometers, they can enter a state of hydrostatic equilibrium. This is where there is a balance between the outward thermal pressure from a planet and the weight of the material pulling inwards, which causes them to, over time, collapse into the most efficient shape, which in this case causes them to be round. This can only happen if an object becomes so massive that the force of gravity is strong enough to do this which is why asteroids, which are much smaller than planets, can be random shapes and are not round. Planets, however, are not perfectly round. They are oblate spheroids. The equilateral diameter of Earth is about 43 kilometers larger than the polar diameter due to Earth's rotational velocity of 1,674.4 kilometers per hour, which causes the planet to bulge due to the centrifugal force exerted by the rotation of Earth around its axes. This actually causes disturbances to satellites' orbits over long periods of time, which requires their orbits to be ever so slightly adjusted to compensate for this. Earth isn't the only planet in our solar system to have an equilateral bulge. Mars has an equilateral bulge of 50 kilometers. Jupiter's is 10,175 kilometers, and Saturn has the largest bulge of 11,808 kilometers. Saturn has the largest flattening ratio in the solar system of 1 to 10, which means it's 10% thicker around the middle due to it spinning so fast around its axes. If you ever get to look through a telescope, you might actually be able to see the bulge of both Jupiter and Saturn due to their flattening ratios being large enough to see. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.